Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Electra Soul. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and just a spiritual bitch putting everybody on. What I intend to do is to teach people that God and Jesus and the universe coexist as one. Now today in this video guys, this video is going to be based on something that I realized not too long ago. Because with you law of assumptioners, I need y'all to remember your place on this earth because y'all are beautiful beings. Y'all are bad bitches, like y'all have got the shit in the bag and I'm gonna tell y'all why today. You deserve to win at everything that you do and I mean this wholeheartedly if you're manifesting something and you just have this moment That you're like, I don't really know if I deserve what I want or if this belongs to me I'm gonna tell y'all today why the fuck yes you do because this is your life I'm not playing about it. This is your life If you want what you want, you're going to get it because you said so and you're not giving up until you get that thing But anyway, I'm gonna tell y'all right today because I'm hopping straight into the video So point blank period the other day I had this epiphany I guess you could say and I was thinking to myself. I was like, okay I love manifesting things. My clients, my subscribers, my followers, whatever, they love to manifest things too because obviously they're all getting what they want because they tell me that they do. But anyway, why do some people believe that they can get what they want if we're all destined to having beautiful things? And that, my guys, changed my life in that second because I was like, wait a minute, we're all entitled to beautiful things. Like, we're really, really meant to have wonderful things. And this is something that is so overlooked by so many people. Y'all, there is no way as to how you can fail getting what you want because there's no like there's no reason to in this world we were meant to have beautiful things i believe that within the world there is an equal balance of good and bad okay so the negative light dark whatever positive so within this balance i still believe that the good always overrules the bad no matter what i always believe that always so then i started thinking i was like okay so if we're manifesting these things and we're so afraid of getting them that's because we believe that we're not destined to have amazing things right so with that being said you're choosing your destiny in that way you know if you've had a bunch of super shit things happening to you and it has trained you to believing that I can't get everything that I want because life has treated me badly you're only repeating that story to yourself thus creating more negative things happening to you which I know is not what you want right so this is something that I used to think about heavily because I used to be that kind of person I used to think like oh my god all the bad things happen to me of course this would happen to me what are the chances that anything good ever happened to me because nothing does right so i was kind of screwing myself over actually i was definitely screwing myself over because i kept telling myself that bad things happened to me and that this was destined for me thus creating that belief or that manifestation that only negative things happened to me and guess what guys it was totally true because that's what kept happening shitty things that i did not want to deal with kept happening to me because at the end of the day all i believed was that yeah bad things do happen because that's all i've ever seen in my life now the day that i realized that i'm always going to get what i want because good things are destined to happen to me was the day apart from many other days that my life has changed that my life truly changed in that way like my mindset shifted to believing that yes good things do happen to me because that's what i believe in i believe in good things happening no matter what because at the end of the day no matter how bad shit looks or no matter how bad things seem the good is always supposed to overrun the bad and that y'all like seriously has gotten me through some tough ass times when i was manifesting what is that I want and I was creating so much resistance because I was so afraid of getting what I wanted that phrase alone helped me so much to believing that yes this is destined for me now I really want y'all to pay attention to this because I want y'all to remember this whenever you're having a bad moment and I mean this truly because bad moments bad moments are the ones that are going to try their best to knock you down so that you don't get what you want and guys this does happen you know some days you're really really confident you're like yes I'm getting what I want I got what I want I got it I got it you feel that power within you but then there's a second that your mind is just telling you all these shitty things that you do not want to be listening to right now and then the second that that one bad thought gets a hold of you you feel like it's a wrap you're like i'm not getting what i want now my mind is right why would good things happen to me do good things truly belong to me guys absolutely yes they do absolutely yes they do and the second that you stop telling yourself that bad things only happen to you and that this is what is meant for you that's the second that good things will start happening because you're saying to yourself that that is what is meant to happen for you now okay guys y'all know that i have a very strong connection to god to the universe whatever y'all want to call it but within that connection with god the universe all you really are truly being connected to is yourself because although yes god is a spirit god is inside of you god is inside of me god is inside of your dog like literally god is in everything and so 
with that being said, you have been given the ultimate control to change your destiny in the way that you want it to be changed. Because God naturally lives through us, we just have that ultimate control. So if you tell yourself that you're not the controller of your destiny, you are completely wrong because you are the one who is totally in control. You're the one who calls the shots dead ass, which is why either good things or bad things happen to you because of the beliefs that you've told yourself consistently. Now within knowing that you have God, the universe, the ultimate control inside of you and that you're able to change anything that you want in the way that you want it to because you said so, you have to realize that that spirit that lives through you is meant to be a good spirit to help you do better in life. You're meant to do the best that you possibly can. You're meant to manifest all the amazing things because that's what you want, right? And so with that being said, how can you fail? How can you fail? How can you really fail at life if you have this power? If you are manifesting for something and your mind is telling you, why do you deserve this? Your automatic knowing should be, I deserve this because it is destined to happen to me. And I completely, genuinely believe this truly. That so long that you have your power inside of you, you are a so fucking destined to having beautiful things no matter how much your ego tries to knock you down whether you fucked up getting your manifestation 10 times get up the 11th time continue to manifest what it is that you want and watch how it appears within your life because you are destined to having that beautiful thing stop telling yourself that you do not deserve good things like Again, guys, a very underrated thing within the law of assumption, not realizing how much you deserve these good things, but it really does happen and I need y'all to stop doing it to yourselves. Yes, you deserve to lose the weight. Yes, you deserve to gain the weight. Yes, you deserve to have clear skin. Yes, you deserve to have long, beautiful hair. Yes, you deserve anything and everything that you want because you said so. Stop thinking that you're supposed to live in this negative ass atmosphere with shitty th No, you're not. Like, I- even thinking about some of y'all living in like horrible atmospheres or like environments irks my mind so much because that is totally not what is destined for you. What is destined for you is the beautiful, luxurious, peaceful, cottage fairy core ass vibe that you want to live in. Like there's no other way around it. The only reason that it irks me so much is because y'all have this power inside of you to change your environment. Like you do not have to be living this way. You really don't, okay? No matter how impossible shit seems, even when your mind is telling you that, how am I going to get out of here? There's no money. There's no way bitch i don't care if there's no fucking money there's no money because you said there's no money manifest the money to move the fuck out and go get your cottage core fairy vibe hut in the woods like do whatever it is that you want but do it and do it good because you are destined for this and there's no effing way around it i'm listen i will beat y'all up until you get what you want because there's just no reason there's no reason the good things are meant for us and the second that you claim it in your life and you're like yes i deserve the good things this is entitled to me i'm getting what I want because I said so is the second that your life is going to change permanently forever because now you are resting assured that yes I have stepped into the goodness that awaits me and within this destiny there it is there's everything that I want and that is exactly why beautiful things are destined for you stop questioning yourself so much about it it doesn't matter how when why what why you're deserving how the negativity is gonna go away well the negativity goes the second that you say that it does okay positivity belongs to you no matter what you've seen in your life no matter what kind of victim you are no matter what it is that you've been through all of that stuff doesn't matter anymore because what's ahead of you is all of the beautiful things that you never allowed yourself to dream about because you thought it was too good to be true none of it is none of it none absolutely none because i spent so much time readjusting my mind to believing that i deserve these good things i'm gonna tell y'all today that something that you can do is anytime that you're like freaking out about not getting what you want or you know you're about to spiral please remind yourself i am destined to having beautiful things. I am meant for this because that is exactly what the God inside of me would want for me. I am destined to having all of the things that I could ever want in my life. And if it isn't what I want, if it isn't what I picture, if it isn't something that I would want to live in, it does not belong to me and that's it. I am not accepting less than best. If it's not top notch, I do not want it. I don't give a fuck. I see my life for what it truly is. A haven, a paradise, the place where I get everything that I want now. Bitch, look at me. I'm glowing. And and no one and nothing can ever stop me because I am the one in control of my destiny. Okay, maybe you don't have to say all that. But still, say it to yourself. Like, really, really say it and feel it, guys. Because this, I'm telling you something that helps me, okay? So if I'm doing it, then it fucking works. I'm gonna tell y'all today. Repeat it to yourself. Do not stop believing in it. Even when your mind is like, wait, but you're so used to the trauma. You're so used to the negative. No, you're not. You're not used to 
exist that shit because that doesn't matter that does not exist within your life what exists are the beautiful things are the things that you have always been entitled to having that's it that's all you're used to when you're repeating this to yourself feel it all the way up to the guts that's what she said feel it up bitch act like this is something that you've known since you were born and do not allow for yourself to victimize yourself any effing longer i do not want to hear oh but i'm not really entitled to this maybe the bad things are what's meant for Bitch. at that point i can't even help you that is your choice if you choose to sit around and start talking about how you're a victim and blah, 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 blah. That's beyond me. Like, you really gotta take control here and just say it to yourself that this is what is meant for you. The beautiful things in life are what's destined for you. And even if they don't appear right this second, they will. With enough persistence, with enough affirming, with consistency, you will see your results. Because the second that you say that you have it, you immediately have it. Even if it's not within your 3D, in your 4D, the other version of you has everything that you could ever want plus more. And so with that being said, y'all better. Y'all better. Better. Start affirming for what it is that you want. Anytime those negative thoughts come in and tell you that no, you can't. Yes, the fuck I can because oh look right here on paper. Yeah, because I said so. Like there's no other reason. There's no other thing. There's nothing else that can help you get what you want except for you. Nothing. You need to be the one to call the shots. Like I know y'all want to be rich. I know y'all want to be happy. I know y'all want to have that beautiful home. I know you want that boo. I know you want that dream dog. I know you want that dream car. I know that you want it. So why are you depriving yourself from having it? No reason absolutely not enough your reason i don't care what you've been through i'm sorry i do care but like i don't right now because that shit does not matter anymore that is in the past right now what we're looking towards is the beautiful future that awaits you and with that being said you're gonna get everything that you want because you fucking said so i I've, I've had it i've freaking had it enough is enough i won't lie to y'all i used to victimize myself like there was no tomorrow i used to act like i was like the saddest girl on earth even though a lot of bad things did happen to me and yeah i was kind of traumatized i still was like sulking in it though like i was sitting my ass in this corner and was like oh my god poor me what happened to me a year ago <laughs> bitch shut the fuck up until that day came and i was like girl get out of your little corner get a grip of your life because that is enough you need to stop being so sad and truthfully speaking that was the day my life changed because i was like i've had enough i'm not gonna sit here any longer and be a sad ass girl talking about all these terrible things that happened to me like who cares no genuinely who cares no one's gonna sit there and listen to my problems except for a therapist and even with that what is that gonna help me with nothing all i want are the things that i want and so what i did was i decided to take control i affirmed for what it is that i want i got what i want and i'm only doing that for the rest of my life because yeah yeah, maybe the past was really sad but the future is looking amazing because i said so i don't care what i've been through i don't care what you've been through yes i do but not right now y'all need to take back control right now and that's it there's no reason there is just no reason you're not gonna be the sad victim i don't care i don't care you're gonna have that happy healthy relationship you're gonna have all the money in the world you're gonna have your dream job your dream house your dream car whatever it is you're gonna have it because you said so and that's it all right guys oh fucking k <laughs> all right y'all thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate it i intended this video up to the best of its ability and i know that it did because guys this is enough enough is enough y'all need to stop victimizing yourself so freaking much to the t i know what you've been was really sad upsetting but listen the goodness is what's destined for you even throughout all of the traumas all of the negativity all of the bad vibes i get it i really do it makes you want to go down but what you're gonna say is we're going up from here the only way out like once you hit rock bottom is up like there's no other way you can go so that's exactly where you're gonna start headed right now all right there's no reason there is no reason as to why you should be struggling just none and i refuse to sit here and watch y'all struggle any longer because that is not what's meant for you and if you're about to be with me like if you're about to follow me and subscribe to me and watch my shit you need to be on this level okay you are on this level actually you are totally on this level because you fucking said so like guys i love y'all so much and i know i just know that y'all are getting everything that you want because you said so i have not a doubt in my mind stop victimizing yourself take back control and sit with it for the rest of your life because this this beautifulness in your life this gorgeousness and the luxury and the happiness and the success and the love is meant for you and that is what you have right now because i I said so because you said so because the god inside of you says so because you are the god of your reality and you're not gonna let yourself struggle any longer i promise y'all y'all are not <laughs> all right everybody i will see y'all this sunday for another video thank y'all so much again for watching god bless y'all please take care everybody and please stop crying start affirming <laughs> do not settle with that shit any longer all right y'all bye
need I say more? I know that y'all know that y'all are destined for this beautifulness. Like the shit that you want in your life is meant to be for you. That's it. No other way around it. Stop asking the questions. Stop wondering. Just know that you got it, that you're destined for greatness and that's it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs>